Hello everyone. I'm very excited to announce that Cambio Networks has just posted our software release 2.1 for the CN Matrix portfolio of enterprise switches. The 2.1 software release is a major software release with not lots of new content. This is a short video to review the highlights of this release. I will be going through this presentation quickly, but please feel free to visit Cambium's support site for more information. Okay, let's get started. So here is our roadmap. And this is what we have released up until 2.1. So 2.0.5 is our most recent release that is available on our support site today. Starting just a couple days ago, uh, I believe Saturday, August 30th, we have now posted release 2.1. So he, this is here we are in August with release 2.1. Uh, coming up next is release 2.2, um, also a fairly important software release that provides a GUI interface for CN Maestro users when managing CN Matrix. Also coming in Q1 of next year is our release 3.0, which will supply um, some new hardware platforms. More details to follow on these releases. Okay. Here we are with the CN Matrix EX2K family of switches. These are the four models that we are currently shipping. Today, or a couple days ago, we posted to the Cambium support site the 2.1 release. On the support site, you'll see um, executable images, images, user documentation, and our MIB archive file. I do strongly recommend visiting this site and taking a look at the updated documentation, especially the release notes, which is a summary of the release, but also our more detailed user guides for both the web GUI and the COI. Okay, today and in 2.1, a high-level overview of the content is as follows. There's new features and functionality that I'll be reviewing today. There's enhancements and improvements to existing features. Also, on all of our management interfaces, we have made changes um, to add additional functionality as well as improve the ease of use of these management interfaces. I will also review quickly with you a list of resolved issues in 2.1. All right, here's a quick high-level summary of the new features. I don't mention the enhancements on this page, but the new features that are in 2.1 that are not in previous releases is our dynamic uh, routing with RIP and OSPF, including route redistribution, uh, support for our USB uh, uh, memory port, uh, dynamic ARP inspection, LDP MED has been added to our LDP support, a very useful reload feature, and also a very, very um, anticipated and asked for do command, which makes COI uh, much easier to use. Okay, let's get started with some of our uh, uh, new features, diving a little bit deeper. The first feature to highlight is dynamic routing. So dynamic routing provides scalability and adaptability that is not available with static routing. Um, on CN Matrix, we will support both RIP v1, v2, as well as OSPF v2, and we will support 512 or more routes. The next feature to highlight is dynamic ARP inspection. Dynamic ARP inspection is a very important security feature that will protect you against malicious users poisoning your ARP table. The USB port, this is a port on the front of the switch. It's always been there, but it has not been activated until now. Now with 2.1, you can use the USB port to transfer files to and from the switch. You can upgrade the switch's image using a USB drive you can save and restore the configuration to and from the USB drive as well. Also, of course, you can display the files located on your USB drive. The next useful feature that we've added is the reload function. The reload function can be used when configuring the switch remotely. Uh, the reload function will protect you against misconfiguring the switch and losing connectivity to the switch accidentally. If this does happen, the reload feature will automatically revert back to the previously saved configuration. Also, when downloading new software images, this feature can be used to specify when the new image will take effect. So you can download the software version at any time and then set it to take effect at midnight or sometime later that day or even the next day if you'd like. 
Um, the, this timeout value can be specified either by stating the date, the day, and the time, or by just setting a timeout value. Okay, LLDP extension. We've always supported LLDP. Now we support the LLDP med TLVs. Um, the, dis, these new TLVs uh, support things like discovery of network policies, uh, location discovery, extended power over Ethernet management, as well as inventory management, supports the tracking of deployed network devices. Policy-based automation. This is a, um, a very important feature in CN Matrix, and we've added some very useful extensions. Um, now you can use rules uh, set based on the MAC address. Before we used LLDP to identify devices. Now we can use MAC address as well. We can use the MAC OUI to identify the vendor or manufacturer, or you can enter an exact MAC address, or you can enter a MAC address range. The actions that are possible with policy-based automation have, have also been updated. So the port default user priority can be set based on the PBA policy. You can modify the cost trust mode you can also modify the PUE priority settings, low, high, or critical. And uh, you can set which uplink port the switch is using as well. Um, another very convenient aspect of the new actions is to automatically label the ports. Um, the port can be automatically labeled with the policy name, or it can use the LLDP descriptor or the LLDP sysname. Uh, we will support TOS 1.2 and 2.1. This allows all common web browsers to securely connect to CN Matrix. We also have uh, migrated to open SSH version 7.9. This provides the latest authentication and crypto algorithms, which supports a much wider variety of SSH clients. Okay, COI. Um, this is an ongoing effort in CN Matrix. We will be making improvements to the COI and the web GUI and CN Maestro in every release. In 2.1, we have made some important releases based on some feedback. Um, we've simplified uh, the VLAN configuration for access ports. As mentioned earlier, we've added the do command. The help context has been improved and is more accurate. Um, the range command we've had, we've made it more user friendly. And then again, as I mentioned earlier, the port description field is added to most of the port tables. So now when you display your large table of ports, the port description field is there as well. Web GUI, lots of changes to the web GUI. We've added more feature coverage. Some of the features were not, were not included in the web GUI prior to 2.1. Uh, features that we've added are port mirroring, ACL support, QOS support, PoE support, DHCP v6 client support, um, control for CN Maestro, as well as SSH. The new features that we've added in 2.1 were also included in the web GUI, RIP, OSPF, the reload feature, dynamic ARP inspection, USB support, as well as route redistribution. We've improved the system information page, added content. Uh, we've We've modified and upgraded the software upgrade page to now support uh, upgrading software images from the USB. Um, in all the port tables, again, we've added the port description column to make it more user-friendly, easier to read. And again, uh, some enhancements to PBA. Uh, we've improved the PBA statistics. All right, C and Maestro, probably our most important management interface. Um, the COI commands can now be executed directly from CN Maestro. You go to the tools and debug window, you can now enter any CLI command you want from the CN Maestro uh, um, interface. Uh, settings and status available via the web GUI. Um, now this does, uh, those two um, enhancements do not require a new version of CN Maestro. The following enhancements do require the next and latest version of of CN Maestro due out towards the end of September. So the device name can be configured from CN Maestro and is synchronized with CN Matrix. Lots of input from the field on that one. Display of per port PoE consumption is available. Improved CN Maestro connectivity status is available via CLI and Web GUI. And additional troubleshooting via CN Maestro tools 
and network connectivity, you can um, you can now ping, uh, do a DNS lookup, and trace route from your CN Maestro interface. Okay, resolved issues. I am not going to go through these issues uh, in detail, um, but these are issues that have come up in previous releases. Um, some we found on our own, some were reported from the field. All the issues listed here have been resolved. I, I encourage you to take a look at this um, offline. Thank you again for listening and enjoy your CN Matrix 2.1 software release.